Did you know that there was a study done with over 600 participants looking at the effectiveness of stinging nettle on DHT? Well, in this video, we're going to be looking at stinging nettle. We're going to be looking at its effectiveness and then we're going to be talking to you whether or not it's going to be a good thing to add into your hair care routine. So guys, before we get into the video on the stinging nettle, if you're worried about your own hair loss, what you can do is click the link in the description, upload a quick hair selfie, answer a few short questions about yourself, and then you'll get your free hair guard analysis. What is stinging nettle? Stinging nettle, or Urtica dioica, is a flowering perennial plant that is native to many areas of the world, including North America, Europe, and Asia. It can often reach a height of up to seven feet. You can recognize it, recognize it by the heart-shaped leaves and the rough, bristly hair lining all over. These fine little hairs are quite painful to touch. Whenever you brush up on these leaves, the fragile tip of the hair will break off and cause various irritation to the skin, including pain, swelling, itching, and numbness. Despite all this, it is ironically recognized for its medicinal properties for many centuries. In medieval Europe, it was used to treat joint pain and to rid the body of excess water. Ancient Egypt found that it was very effective against arthritis and back pain. Many examples of nettle urtification or the practice of flogging oneself with the nettle leaves have been record reported across a few societies in order to treat illnesses such as chronic rheumatism, lethargy, coma paralysis and cholera. It is still continually recognised and used today for its holistic properties. It contains a wide range of constituents. Certain essential vitamins and minerals such as magnesium, vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin K, potassium and so on. It also possesses a rich source of iron and omega-3 acid. The benefits also extend into its ability to counter alopecia or hair loss. Many researchers have given weight to nettle's potential to stimulate hair growth and promote healthier, thicker hair strands. So now let's look at the connection between stinging nettle and hair loss. Inflammation of the scalp has been identified as an instigator for chronic hair loss. When there is tissue damage from foreign or harmful particles such as free radical, DHT and bacteria, the body reacts and attempts to fight it off. Studies such as this one conducted by Magro et al have shown that chronic inflammation leads to the cells in your scalp to activate a self-destructive mechanism that causes damage to the hair strands and its respective follicles. There are a few agents that regulate the process of inflammation and one such agent is called NFKB, and it's been linked as a strong inducer of inflammation. Once NFKB is activated, it causes many other pro-inflammatory pro agents to activate as well. Therefore, inflammation is very dependent on these NFKB activities. Molecules are made up of atoms, and atoms are made up of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Electrons come in pairs, which help the atom remain stable. Now, free radicals are unstable molecules that will seek and attack other stable molecules to take their electrons, which causes insecurity to living cells. This produces widespread damage that will eventually induce an inflammatory response, which we know plays a large role in chronic hair loss. The extent of hair loss from free radical damages has not been well studied, but few have linked high oxidative stress in the scalp to alopecia. Other studies have ascertained that free radical damages may be one of the larger contributors to the lack of hair growth in many subjects. Antioxidants prevent free radicals from causing damages by donating one of their own electrons. There are likely thousands of different antioxidants to counteract different subsets of free radicals. Now, recent reports from Gouda et al. have shown that stinging nettles are abundant in antioxidants. The most notable ones are flavonoid and polyphenols, both of which have been proven anti-inflammatory properties as well. Stinging nettle also contains a healthy source of vitamin C, which in addition to the antioxidant properties, also contributes directly to healthy skin and hair. Secondly, stinging nettle may have some application to apoptosis, or programmed cell death. Apoptosis is a natural process that occurs when our body overproduces a certain type of cell, which then takes up extra unnecessary energy. Apoptosis also transpires when the respective cells is deemed more harmful than good for the body. While ap apoptosis would not usually provoke an inflammatory response, special conditions can prove otherwise. For example, free radicals have shown to contribute to the activation of apoptosis. 
If a large number of cell deaths occur at a given moment, then the body would deem it necessary to undergo inflammation which may not bode well on the scalp. A study performed by Toldi et al conducted a study on rats to observe the effects of exercise and nettle supplement on free radical damages in rat brain. While the researchers didn't find any significant correlation between swimming and oxidative stress, they did find that the group on nettle treatment had a decrease in a protein called C. jun, an important component that directly affects apoptosis. Thirdly, stinging nettle has shown antibacterial potentials, including those directly affecting the hair. Specifically, folliculitis is a common skin condition that is characterized by focal inflammation of hair follicles. It is usually accompanied with itching or soreness. According to the American Hair Loss Association, during early stages of folliculitis, an excess amount of hair will fall out, struggling to grow back until the infection is cleared up. However, if the folliculitis becomes more severe, the inflammation can permanently destroy the hair follicles. The most common cause of folliculitis is due to bacterial infections. While it is normal to have these bacteria present on the skin, it may become active in the scalp and cause hair follicle damages. Mutamidi et al. concluded a study on the antibacterial properties of stinging nettle extract on eight different bacterial strains, and the researchers found that stinging nettle was highly effective for inhibiting various strains of, of bacteria, mainly due to the nettle's ability to target that bacteria cell wall. The results also supported stinging nettles potential as a potential as an antimicrobial agent. So now let's have a look at stinging nettle and dihydrotestosterone. Dihydrotestosterone is thought to be a strong factor related to hair loss and male pattern baldness. Dihydrotestosterone or DHT is a sex steroid and androgen hormone that is created as testosterone byproduct. While we recognize that testosterone is essential for sexual functions and certain male development, it is also the precursor for DHT. In fact, about 5-7% to of circulating free testosterone with the help of the enzyme type 2 5 alpha reductase converts to DHT. While DHT plays a vital role in secondary male characteristics such as facial hair, chest hair, deepening voice and muscle mass, it serves to also take hair away from the scalp. Numerous studies have linked the correlation between the two. Now, interestingly enough, DHT has also been linked to the growth of prostate cells. And while this is normal in adolescence years, in many older men, it contributes to benign prostatic hyperlasia, or BPH. A study conducted by Nahaza et al. examined the effects of stinging nettle on BPH that is induced by testosterone. Meanwhile, they compared and contrasted the group on nettle to the group on 1 mg of finasteride, a drug used to shrink and enlarge prostate and increased hair growth. The results found that the stinging nettle petroleum ether contains a property that can markedly inhibit 5-alpha reductase enzyme activity. The researchers also showed that the stinging nettle may match the benefits of finasteride while avoiding all of the undesirable side effects. Muradi et al. established similar findings with nettle's roots. Safarin Jad also attempted to find a correlation between stinging nettle and BPH by conducting a randomized double-blinded crossover study on 620 patients with BPH. After six months, he found that there was a moderate decrease in prostate size in the experimental nettle group over the placebo group. Many patients who continued the nettle treatment therapy saw continuously favorable results. So how can you start applying stinging nettle for hair loss? There are several methods of applying stinging nettle into your hair routine. The first option is to take it as a supplement. The ready are available online and in stores, uh, and the capsule is the most common medium, but it's also available in tablet and powder form. You just want to take one 500 milligram stinging nettle capsule once or twice daily, and that should be more than enough to extract the nettle's full benefit. You may also decide to drink it as a nettle tea tonic, and you can simply infuse it in hot water and drink it as a tea. Chances are you've probably got some nettles growing in your backyard, and if you decide to go hunting for nettles, obviously wear gloves. Should you manage to locate the plant, instead of taking the entire stalk, use scissors or clippers to cut the uh, top two bracts of the leaves. This will allow the rest of the plant to regenerate again for future use. And you can also purchase dry leaves from the market if fresh leaves are not an option. Then just simply boil approximately four cups of water, finally chop four teaspoons worth of fresh nettle, add that into the water and steep for 20 minutes with the lid on, uh, and then pour the liquid through a small strainer and enjoy either hot or cold. You may also decide to make your own nettle oil. Now, one of the most effective methods of utilizing stinging nettle is creating an oil infusion. 
Nettle oil can better penetrate the pores of the scalp. So you simply want to take dry or chopped fresh nettles uh, and then take olive oil and fill the mason jar until it's completely submerging the nettles. You want to stir the oil with a clean utensil until the oil is completely settled and there should not be any bubbles left and then seal it tightly. Shake the oil every day for a week while making sure that the oil is co covering the top of the herb. Periodically check for any mold content by opening the mixture and smelling for rancidity. Let it sit for a total of three to six weeks. Shake the jar throughout the entire infusion process to better imbue the herb into the oil. And then what you can do is simply pour the entire mixture over a cheesecloth and let it strain into the bowl and then pour it into a jar and store it in a dark, cool place for up to a year. And now let's have a quick look at the side effects. There aren't many reports of harmful side effects besides the obvious stinging. As always, avoid stinging nettle if you're allergic or sensitive to the herb. Now you should also be using it with caution if you're taking blood thinning drugs, diuretics, blood pressure drugs, anti-inflammatory drugs, and we recommend consulting a doctor who is familiar with herbal remedies before implementing the stinging nettle to your routine. Now stinging nettle in all its various different forms can be a powerful way to fight hair loss and enable hair growth. However, using this powerful plant is just a very small step in the right direction. To truly be able to regrow your hair and keep it for the rest of your life, you will need to fix the underlying causes. Nettle can be a powerful and natural way to block DHT, both internally and topically without the side effects associated with Propecia, and this is a huge advantage. The first way we recommend you start using stinging nettle is in a homemade shampoo mixture since nettle tonic is a particularly powerful way to clean the scalp and block DHT. So guys, just to kind of finish on from that point, you've just got to remember that there is no easy, simple solution. There's no magic pill for curing hair loss. Now stinging nettle may be a great addition to add into your hair care routine, but only if that's done alongside other things like scalp massage, micro needling, other internal supplements, um, and uh, getting your diet right as well. So if you're worried about your own hair loss, don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free hair guard analysis, and I'll see you in the next video.